y'all. Welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. Are you struggling with how to tell the difference between a physical property and a chemical property? Well, let me show you all my hacks. First, let's grab that definition for a physical property. Physical properties can be observed or measured without changing the composition of matter. So you can see physical properties are characteristics of a compound. If you can use your five senses, that's a physical property. Also, you may have noticed that word measurement in the definition. That means any measurements that we take on a piece of matter, we could use to describe that piece of matter. That's a physical property. So for all of its melting points, boiling points, condensation points, all the points, all of those physical properties. Its ability to dissolve or not to dissolve, physical property. The color, its appearance, is it shiny, is it not shiny? Is it malleable? Can you hammer it into shape? Is it ductile? Can you pull it into a wire? All of those examples of a physical property. So we see lead nitrate here. If we were going to discuss some of lead nitrate's physical properties, we could say that it's white. We could measure its mass. We could measure its volume. We could measure its density. We could smell it and see if it had any odor. Don't smell chemicals, we know that's a bad idea. But the odor of a chemical does tell us its physical property. Let's talk about a chemical property. Chemical properties become evident during or after a chemical reaction. Chemical properties, we can't observe those. That's really weird. But you can't look at something and tell if it's flammable, corrosive, toxic, poisonous, if it will or will not react with something. These are all words that describe chemical properties. For example, if I have a beaker of water and a beaker of isopropyl alcohol, we can't look at one and say, oh, that one's flammable. Oh, that one's not flammable. We would literally have to set those on fire to see which one would burn before we could see the chemical property of flammable. Another chemical property is corrosive. All acids are corrosive. That means it's gonna eat away at metal or even your skin. But we can't look at this flask of hydrochloric acid and tell that it's corrosive. We would only know that acid is corrosive if we poured some out on some metal and watched it react. Well, I hope now you feel very confident in telling the difference between a physical property and a chemical property. Was this helpful? Press the like button. Also, leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite part of the video was. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, y'all.